Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be setting up Grave Watcher, and I'm super excited to be setting up her. She's going to be my first animatronic I'm unboxing at the time of recording. The first one you guys will be seeing though is Darling Dolly. I'm super excited to get into this prop, and yeah, let's just hop right in. I'm just going to move her up here, unbox her like this so you guys can see her. Hopefully at least I'm not really looking at this camera angle. It's a new camera angle for me. So we have the instructions, though I'm sure she's not too, too hard to set up. We have a piece of her base. I thought this was plastic when I looked at it at the store, so I'm glad to see that that's not plastic. What I'm assuming is her clothing. So we'll set that right here as well. And her adapter box. And next up, I'm assuming this is just her whole body, yep. And we just have a couple other poles, and that's, that is everything in the box. Not a lot, but I didn't really expect a lot out of this prop, as this is a very small prop. But it looks like it's pretty good quality for what it is. So let's get into the setup. Okay, so I did move the camera down just a little bit because it was a little bit too high up. So I'm just going to take off these little bits on the end of this, which I'm, again, I'm assuming this is her base. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to be moving on to is wrapping the scarf and the black cloth and etc. around the head. Okay, so the next step for Grave Watcher is going to be wrapping the scarf around her shoulders slash neck of the body form, I guess it says on here, and cover up where the head attaches. Make that look a little bit cleaner. Don't want that dragging over the candles though as those will be moving. I think this looks pretty Good. And then the next step is going to be putting this black cloth here onto her head and attach it where the Velcro is. And then drape the gray cloth over her as you prefer. And then the last step is to plug her adapter in and then our grave watcher will be finished and ready to demo. And I'm super, super excited for this prop. It's gonna look great in my doll section where I'm gonna be putting her this year. She might go into my graveyard eventually, but for right now, I need more props in my doll section, so she's going to be going into there. And with some final adjustments, she should be ready to go. Without further ado, let's take her aside for a demo in the daylight and at night where I will be putting her in my haunt as I have that section all ready for her. I'll have the lights and everything out there. I'm super excited to get a demo of her out. Let's go.
So here is Grave Watcher, everyone. Let's get a nice shot of her before we do the demo. And I'm going to be doing a daytime and a nighttime demo. And the nighttime demo will have lights on for it. I have a few lights if you're already chosen out. I think suits this prop the best. And yeah, I'm super excited to be demoing her outside and to get a nice view of where she's going to be going in my haunt too. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the demo of Grave Watcher for 2023 from Spirit Halloween. And that is Grave Watcher for 2023 from Spirit Halloween. I think this is a great prop and a great bargain for the price that it is. It's a great return, in my opinion, from Spirit Halloween. There Would there be some better ones? Maybe like Barnyard Butcher? Take note, Spirit Halloween. But I think this one is just amazing and it's going to go great in my haunt this year. That is all I have to say about Grave Watcher for Spirit Halloween for 2023. How about you guys give me your thoughts and opinions on this prop down in the comments below? Let me know let me know what you guys think i will see you guys in my next prop setup which i'm hoping will be darling dolly which i'm sure you guys are all excited for as am i as that is my favorite prop of the year i'm sure you're helping this year i'll see you guys in that video